So uh, Karin, uh, thanks for having me over here at your, your uh, office in Amsterdam of, of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Bright, Pension, Bright Pensions. Thank you. Thank you, thank you for coming. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we had the interview uh, with your colleague uh, a year ago uh, yes, with, with Colleague Vision. Uh, then you were just busy with preparations uh, before the launch and uh, now you're launched uh, since February. Yes. Uh, for people that don't know what Bright Pension is, uh, what is it? Uh, last December we received our license uh, to manage usage uh, funds uh, and we uh, at this point in time we uh, uniquely offer uh, third pillar pension products uh, in the market uh, through our usage license. So we're not a pension fund but uh, we have, uh, uh, we manage uh, an investment fund uh, and which is structured as, as a usage which means uh, we have a certain diverse diversification uh, requirements uh, in order to be called a, a USIT and uh, through these USIT funds we offer uh, the participations in the fund and because we offer them in uh, in a blocked account uh, type of way uh, Dutch uh, tax authorities uh, recognize it as a, um, a pension uh, provision. Okay, it sounds uh, like you're really, really uh, playing with all the rules uh, in the in, in the in the system uh, because you also got the, the the license in December after the of the DNB, the Dutch National Bank, and AFM, of and AFM. the financial markets. So uh, Dutch Central Bank they uh, look at our solvency requirements uh, and uh, they authorize our shareholders. So as soon as you take a stake of over ten percent in any financial uh, undertaking in the Netherlands, they look. Uh, whether you are s suited according to them as, as acting as a shareholder um, because as a shareholder you can influence uh, strategy of certain companies uh, so they want to uh, see that uh, all the uh, financial in institutions that operate under Dutch licenses uh, are uh, solid. And, 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 and how do you do that, get this license? Because uh, I can imagine like when you're a big corporate with 10,000 employees, there must be somebody that you can ask, okay, how, how can I do it? But, 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 but how can you as a, as, as a startup, uh, uh, yeah, how do you do it? Uh, how do you get the knowledge? It's, the, 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 the it's a lot right of people? homework. <laughs> so, um, well, t in order to uh, file your license application, you really need to know everything you want to go do, uh, want to do in your company so all of your procedures you have to have written out already in when this happens then we do this and this and that and then we have to inform these and these people all of those uh, information flows and decision moments you already ha need to have mapped out um, so all of your uh, how, how you're gonna uh, uh, comply with all the regulations, all that stuff needs to be uh, written down in, uh, in procedures and they evaluate those during your license applications, you're interviewed as a person, they see whether they find you fit as, uh, as a, a director of a, of, a of a financial company. So, uh, so you have to interview as well for your position <laughs> at the Dutch uh, uh, Central Bank and uh, at uh, the Authority Financial Markets in the Netherlands. And um, yeah, that's, that's, that's the biggest uh, thing. So knowing what you're going to do, how you're going to do, how you're going to administrate everything, all that stuff needs to be uh, uh, planned out in uh, quite a lot of detail, even before you start building it. Yeah, yeah, I can imagine that that, that, that requires quite some some homework. And do they, and do they also from the authorities look different uh, at you because you are, are a startup, and also when you started, uh, you uh, you weren't offering anything yet. Um, well, for any license application, goes that you can't be in the market, right? you can't offer a, fi a, a similar financial product, otherwise you would have had the license already. Uh, but they do look at uh, uh, startup with, with a wary eye, of course, they only want to, uh, uh, well they build in a, th a threshold already, not everybody can obtain a license, uh, uh, which Every country has a different approach to this. In England, uh, for instance, uh, they, they put the threshold a lot lower. They say we'd rather have more new uh, influx uh, into the market and it will 
uh, segregate out, so the winners will remain and all the others will, will stop their operation. Uh, in the Netherlands, the approach effectively is we only want to allow successful future successful companies to the market and limiting any potential downsides risk that way. Yeah, but maybe it's, it's, it's what trains for, 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 for such authorities to, to look uh, and, and also to, to say, okay, you're going to be successful or not, because they also, of course, uh, there are lots of things they can look uh, before, but in the end, there are also much different things happening in the world. You never know no. whether a company is really going to be successful or not. Uh, things they might think will never be successful and don't allow m might turn out in a, maybe in a different market where they actually uh, uh, are allowed to, to enter to be hugely successful. You, you never really know until you're in the market effectively no. and, and uh, uh, see how people respond to the product. Yeah, yeah and, and also successful companies can fail as we saw a couple of years ago uh, in the Netherlands. I think in a way it's a good thing that a company is allowed to fail. Huh? Uh, uh, putting the threshold so high and creating a society in which failure is not an option uh, isn't really good for uh, uh, markets, uh, for the market movements. You want new initiatives in the market, try test it. If they don't work, you know, quick enough. And you just need to make sure that whenever something is proven not successful, that the fallout is very limited. But if you have a lot of new initiatives, the fallout will always be quite small. Yeah. Whereas if you if you only have a limited number of uh, uh, suppliers, um, uh, people in the market, fallout usually is quite big, uh, because there yeah. are, there's a lot of cross lines. Yeah. yeah, maybe also uh, yeah. yesterday uh, I was the uh, at the ministry of of, e of uh, economic affairs having discussions mm -hmm. about sharing economy and platforms yeah. and, and about regulations. And then we talked about a, a, a new way of regulations where you say, okay, when you enter as, uh, 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 as a startup in a new market, mm -hmm. uh, we give you for a couple of years space to, 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 uh, license. to learn. A yeah. license. Uh, of course, we, uh, uh, there are some rules around that, mm -hmm. so we're not gonna uh, going to give you carte blanche. Okay. Yeah. Makes sense. Uh, yeah. um, and, and then as they go, increase. Yeah, and, 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 and also in this process that also the regulations also will learn from what's happening and then in the end when they are going to make new regulations then they also can make uh, better regulation because it, it, it's, 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 it's a regulation based on let's say three years experience in fields. Yeah, no that's true because at the moment uh, our regulators are sitting in an ivory tower eh, and they look at the world through their own uh, view and perspective whereas at, at, at the ground level at some, uh, things actually turn out quite differently. Not always, but uh, yeah. uh, you just never know how something pans out, if something is new to a market, how, yeah. uh, how it's going to be received, uh, if there are new problems uh, popping up uh, left or right, and uh, th the way to address those best, that's a learning process. Yeah, 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 it's really interesting. But I think I think we can talk about this for hours, but uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, going, ba uh, 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 going back to Bright Pension, mm -hmm. uh, because uh, you, you, you got the license in, in, in December, yes. and you uh, got live in, 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 or officially live in no. February. Yes, we launched in February this yeah. year. And yeah. then what happened then? Um, well, immediately saw the market react. Uh, we saw uh, some of our competitors copying uh, our concept uh, straight away, or at least part of our concept. Uh, so from that point of view, it's, uh, uh, it's good recognition in a way. If your competitors start copying you already from the get-go, they must be afraid of you. They must think you have something that's m that makes sense uh, to them. And we, we started out as well to give a positive impulse to the market and see if we could try and change it. So from that perspective, we definitely already had our first successes. Um, uh, although it does make it more difficult for us, of course, to uh, operate and uh, be because you're not as original anymore as you were uh, half a year ago, yeah. effectively, yeah. before they uh, they altered their market propositions. And, uh, and also, I think also the, 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 the competitors, uh, they also got deeper pockets than you as a startup. Definitely. So yes, we did a, we completed a crowdfunding uh, 
a little over a year ago, which gave us uh, sufficient capital to go through uh, uh, our license applications and prepare for the launch. And uh, uh, we do find now that um, that some participants say we would love to join you, but uh, you're very small still, and you're just in the market, and we would just feel a lot more comfortable when there would be. Huh? either more money in your pocket or a bigger supporter behind you and where we like the idea that we're completely independent because a lot of the banks and insurers which operate in this market have uh, uh, really gotten the product a very bad name and it's not really because of uh, uh, the third pillar pension uh, is a bad pro product or uh, proposition per se but just by combining it and trying to cross sell as many insurance and other types of products into that one product, uh, they created these Wooker uh, policies, so these uh, policies where uh, uh, a lot of these policies, uh, when markets started going down, they started imploding. And a lot of people lost a lot of money that way. And because of that, sort of the whole market got tainted and people lost a lot of uh, faith mm. in uh, in the current uh, providers of these uh, these pension schemes yeah <coughs> yeah that, yes, that's interesting and 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 and, and uh, but but now you're really facing the chicken egg problem because there are people who want to join but they say okay but we want to join when you are or bigger yeah. or have more money in your pocket so yeah. how are, are you going to solve that oh well we're gonna do another capital raising round of course uh, huh? we need growth capital now we we've used this first uh, half year year to see find what works what doesn't work where where are the gaps in the market where lie our opportunities and now we want to scale up and in order to be able to scale up we need additional capital so yet again a catch 22 but at least uh, we're in the market we're we definitely in advanced uh, a lot since last time we were raising capital so hopefully our uh, track record is uh, is appreciated by investors yeah and yeah. And, and 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 is also the the, the financial industry uh, attractive for investors because i've really seen many investments in in, in tech and other other well, stuff it is a uh, a market on its own. That's what you do see uh, because it's heavily regulated. Uh, what you see a lot of um, uh, investors are strategics, huh? people who are already operating in the market, acquiring new uh, initiatives, sort of roll up strategy because they don't get the innovation in house, so they buy it in. Uh, we sort of hope uh, that we can find an outside, somebody outside of the market uh, um, investor or the very few strategic partners we would really s see a fit with. Like uh, uh, we like the sustainable banks, that would be a possible fit for us uh, because we really want to move towards uh, a more sustainable life cycle to uh, improve our product and alter it uh, in that way. or. Um, and because they do offer a distribution channel, uh, so there, there would be definitely a good match also because of what they envision, because our, we're not purely profit driven, we're driven also in, uh, 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 we also have some social uh, goals we want to achieve. Uh, because uh, in the Netherlands, as soon as you work for an employer, everything is arranged for you, and people have very little pension awareness, uh, and then people move towards being an, an entrepreneur or uh, working uh, on, a, on a freelance base, and all of a sudden they have to do uh, provide for their own pension, and they just don't know where to start because there's so much information coming at them, and uh, a lot of the products still out in the market are very complex or they seem to offer a guarantee but usually guarantees are quite expensive and people don't feel comfortable taking those decisions themselves without help. On the other hand they don't really trust financial advisors that much anymore because those were the people who sold them these bad policies, these imploding policies in the past. So there's a large group just don't know where to start anymore so we started providing uh, webinars, workshops uh, to help people understand what their possibilities are, what, what are the benefits, uh, but also the downsides of each choice they make uh, and hopefully uh, and allow them, uh, hand them the tools 
to make the decision themselves, but but an informed decision. Yeah, yeah. So, and we want an, uh, to find a, a partner, an investor who also finds that that important because that's one of the uh, of the goals we want to uh, social goals we want to maintain. And so that's really also in in in, uh, in the values of everything you do. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes, we're not attractive to everybody, and we we're not here just to push our products. We're here to push our products only to the people who, where we can actually add value. Yeah. Uh, yeah. It's not about just uh, selling policies. It's selling policies to the right people. Yeah, yeah. I think that's also a, a completely different approach than uh, than most people uh, uh, think uh, of of, uh, of the market. Well, I think in the long term, it. If you're just here to sell a policy, it's going to bite you, huh? because you're going to sell to a lot of people who shouldn't have bought your policy, uh, your product, and they'll end up coming to complain. Yeah, yeah, uh, I, 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 uh, yeah. And, I totally and then agree. And you'll have to solve, it and then, then you'll just have future liabilities effectively on those uh, those parts. So I rather you know, grow a bit slower at the beginning, but sell to the right people. And have happy customers who are actually very happy that they they close an account with us, uh, rather than uh, 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 or open an account with us. Sorry, uh, rather than people who uh, feel they've they've been sold something that's in the end they shouldn't have bought. Yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. That's, that's a very really good, good starting point. And also, I think by telling somebody we're not suited for you, I think that can only give you positive feedback and they'll tell other people about you because they say well it's the first provider who actually told me I wasn't suited to them and they told me try this or that yeah look into those and those products because at least you get a a, a good mirror yeah uh, yeah I think things really good yeah. is it it's 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 it, 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 it's always really uh, uh, it, it's, it's a really good example of really focusing on a customer and not only uh, from the marketing uh, perspective it's but really from the uh, yeah uh, intrinsic uh, values of the organization. Yeah, you want to react as a market pull rather than a market push. Yeah, uh, that's how you want to yeah. sell your product. Yeah. And also, your, uh, the model uh, how the, how you build your company is also really built uh, 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 for a more long term, sustainable uh, way. And also, that also the people who bring in the value also uh, uh, can profit from, profit it from in that. The long term. Yeah. Can you maybe draw? I, I've got another camera with me. Can you maybe join it and then? Let's see, put it on. <coughs> okay. One moment. Let's see. Uh, You're going to flip the image yeah, around, yeah. I hope. Yeah. <coughs> okay. Okay, so this is our operating company. It's uh, Bright Pensions NV. This is our uh, license holder, so uh, we have a license to uh, manage uh, usage. I'll do it completely in English then. Um, so our founders are here as shareholders. Then we have our crowdfunders. They're joined in a corporation, it's a co-op, and our Participants are also going to form a corporation. So for every new participant, we issue 500 new shares to the participants co-op. So there are 26 million shares jointly owned by the founders and the, and the crowdfunders. And 500 new shares are newly issued to each uh, partic uh, participant who joins uh, Bright Pensions. So at uh, 52,000 participants, uh, they will own 50% of the shares eventually. So that become makes them the majority shareholder. Uh, I think already uh, soon if they pass uh, 30,000 participants, but uh, uh, nonetheless. So Bright Pensions, is the, the manager of the usage funds. So parallel to that, we have, uh, that's a long name, it's Cost Trust Legal Owner. Owner, so Cost Trust Legal Owner, Bright Life Cycle Fund BV. So 
Democrats. Quite recently, this became uh, another uh, legal requirement that uh, the owner of uh, the fund is a separate legal entity, separate from uh, the bewaarder. So this is the trustee. So that one is owned by Gas Trust and Depository Terry Services BV. So this is our trustee, which is again owned by Gas Bank NV, which is actually our custodian. Custodian. There is an agreement between us two uh, regarding the uh, uh, the trust, effectively, of the uh, of the fund, and the uh, uh, there is an administration agreement. Admin agreement. Agreement at this level uh, to register to do the financial administration of the fund uh, as well and then the trust subcontracts for instance uh, the administration to Gas Bank and uh, custodian at also also uh, outsources to Gas Bank where they do uh, and they s simply do the depository services uh, yeah. for the fund. Yeah. In the end, when there are 52,000 uh, uh, members in, in, in the participant corporation, mm -hmm. then uh, they uh, have the majority of the shares of the, uh, the manager. pension. Yes, the manager of yeah. the fund. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and then they are in control of, 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 of your company. Yes and, yes and no. They are the majority shareholders. Like with any uh, company, they don't form the management of the company, but they have the right to fire us. They can fire the entire board. Uh, and we have a one-tier board, so they can fire everybody they like. And they can, uh, at one percent already, they can put uh, uh, topics at the agenda for the uh, general uh, shareholder meeting. Uh, they, at five percent, they can call extra uh, uh, shareholder meeting request those and uh, Put uh, put out an agenda for them. So there are different uh, stages where their their um, their control over uh, the company of of course uh, increases and increases. Yeah, and 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 and, and I feel I feel uh, uh, yeah, I think you, uh, you uh, you've been thinking about everything. So I'm, I'm not going to f ask you uh, have you thought about that. But no. uh, at what way are you thinking about uh, how to also to to manage these crowds? Uh, you, you also now got the experience with the corporations uh, of the crowd funders uh, from Simit. Um, at, at what way uh, 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 are you going to get some, uh, maximum benefits out of uh, the crowds in, in both corporations? Um, we do use our crowds, so we, in, um, uh, we inform them uh, regularly uh, about uh, what progress we make, uh, uh, things we're working on, uh, new markets we're, we're uh, discovering. So, uh, but we do that anyways to anybody who follows our newsletter. So. Uh, from that point of view, they, it's not that much extra work, but we find that a lot of them actually uh, do come back to us and have you thought about this? Uh, I could make an introduction to that. Uh, so it definitely helps uh, to have uh, a number of ambassadors out there who keep you in the back of their minds uh, and when they talk to somebody and they, uh, somebody changes the, t uh, the subject to pensions, uh, they drop your name. and. It's little things that definitely help. Um, yeah. So it's uh, you're, you're like an, uh, an oil spot, and you just need to spread, spread. So the word spreads, uh, and, uh, and people get to know you. And uh, because uh, saving up for your pension, it's quite a big decision for a lot of people. And so people don't make that decision on a whim. It's n it's. It's a bigger decision than, for instance, opening a bank account, mm -hmm. uh, we find. So people uh, uh, who are becoming members now usually already heard about us a year back and have been following our progress for over a year, effectively, before they say, OK, yes, that's it for me. I really want to do it. They just want to see how you uh, progress and develop over time. Uh, 
and see if what you say you're going to do, you're actually going to deliver. Uh, yeah, yeah. So it's, uh, it's, a, uh, so it's a trust business. Yeah, so, it, so it's, it takes time, it, it takes trust, but also yeah. uh, People need skill. to know that you're going to be there in 20 years' time. Uh, yeah. Because it's a long-term investment. It's something you arrange now for maybe over 30, 40, 50 years. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, in 50 years' time, you still want to reap the benefits of what you've put in. And if we're no longer there or we've made bad decisions, you're going to be hurt by that as a participant. So uh, we try to be as... as uh, 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 our product is supposed to be as simple as possible because I don't believe anybody should invest into something they don't really fully understand. Yes. Uh, so we have our uh, 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 how we're going to invest. Uh, it's all published on our website. Uh, how this how our portfolio is going is diversified. Uh, what we find important, what we don't find important. How we're going to uh, rebalance the portfolio. All of the, those that information is available uh, online. And we invest as passive as possible, so we don't want to uh, uh, pretend that we know what's going to happen tomorrow. Tomorrow is a whole new day, and uh, if you think you're going left and you end up turning right, <laughs> eh, that's it's a big impact on, on your clients. So it's impossible, nearly impossible, to beat the market year after year after year. And when you look at pensions, it's a long-term investment, and over a period of 30 years, nobody can beat the market. And maybe one exception to that rule. And so what you want is try and get as close as possible to it as you humanly can, and that's the only way to, to do that is have very low cost and be as passive as possible, just buy the market. Not no. pretend that you know how to beat it because yeah. you can't. Okay. Uh, 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 thanks yeah. for your time. Uh, yeah, no. I, I, I really wish you best in beating your market. Thank I think you. That, 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 that's thing you're going to do. Or and change uh, the market. Change hopefully. the market. Really yeah. good. And Give uh, it an impulse for the positive because it's been sp spiraling down and it really yeah. needs some new yeah. blood and new and initiative. And also giving a good example. Yeah, hopefully. So. Leading by example. Thank, Thank you. Thank you.